disciples asked Jesus, why is this man born blind? Is it something that he did? His mama did? Daddy? Father? Grandparents? And what he says to him is absolutely crazy. He says, ain't nobody did nothing. Why do bad things happen to good people? I mean, that's a hard place to be in. A place where I'm trying to live right. Trying to do the right thing. I ain't, I ain't out here stealing, robbing. I ain't, I ain't committing all these crimes. I ain't done nothing that bad. And it seems like the cloud is following me. He says, no, it ain't. It ain't by anything that he's done, but so God can get the glory. But you begin to be, I mean, conflicted. Because when do you become a believer and start facing battles? Is that before when I was in the world, when I wasn't doing all this extra, I was fine. Then when I get saved, I face the greatest hell of my life. I am conflicted tonight. So we come to Acts chapter 16. Doors were open. Chains fell off. Then watch this. The guard who was asleep saw the doors were open. Supposed everybody fled. Drew his sword about to commit suicide. When is it that you become sick by projection. You become so tired in it, why well, ain't even got the energy to even think about being tired? That if you if you got anything close to coming the wrong way, I I'm already out the door. I'm I'm already out the room. I already find my exit. I mean I'm talking to somebody that is on the edge of the edge. I got so much more side of me I kill you you on the cliff of the cliff. I don't handle any one of them. Let so let's she part. You, you, you at your absolute wits beyond the end. Come on, I'm gonna give it to her. What? What? This is if 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 you even walking towards me with the straw. I'm I'm already beyond stressed out. You come up here another. And it's not anything that you've done. Majority of the time, it is I've been fighting in the place of somebody else. Guards are not in prison because they've done wrong. I'm guarding other people who did other folk wrong, but I make them feel comfortable. I'm making it easy for you, knowing you a cheater, knowing you a liar, knowing you've been put yourself in a bad place, and I become the protector of your feelings. So many times, like, good people get hurt by other bad people because they put them in a place of being hurt by bad people. Is that Paul and Silas and everybody else in the prison is praising for the earthquake. And the God wakes up from a restful sleep to an earthquake that shakes him to the point he's suicidal. The God gets up and says, I'm sick of this. I'm tired of it. Ever been in a place like that? Where everybody connected to you, getting a breakthrough and and you can't do nothing but stand there and see them? You, 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 you ever been, you been praying, seeing no answers? You you got a relationship going to church and, and all you catch is, is, is confusion, is conflict? Oh, seems like folk that don't even visit Never show up to Bible study. They get the car, and you taking the bus. It, 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 it is confusing why, why bad things happen to good people. It gets you to the point where you begin to question God. You, you hearing everybody prayer but mine? You, you receiving everybody's praise but mine? Is Am I not projecting loud enough? Can, am, am I too off of the key E? Am, am I, should I have sang with the piano? Should I, should I play in church? You begin to wonder like, why? Why am I further and I'm trying to get closer? Why am I being hindered and all I'm trying to do is help? 
Why? Why does bad things happen to good people? So Paul comes in on the scene and he's out of the cell. His chains off. And I'm trying to find out, God, what did I miss? What did I miss? He said, keep reading. And they came to him. And what they say to the man? Yeah, Listen, don't hurt yourself. We all in this thing together. We all been locked up somewhere. If not in a jail cell, you've been locked up in a bad relationship. If not in a bad relationship, you've been locked up in a bad emotional space. If not, in your emotions, in your feelings, in your job, in your in your situation, in poverty, in in the opinions of other people. We all have been in prison somewhere. And the reason so many people can't be set free is because we never share the doors are open. We never share in testimony, in relevant reason, I've known struggle. I've known stress. I've known the test. We want to become selective in what we share. And I never share my timely testimony. All we do is get the breakthrough and run out the door. But God is moving you to a place on tonight. Listen to me. Where you can be real in relevancy to be like, you are not alone. I've, I've been in that place. I've been in a place of being sick of it and stressed out. I've been in a place where I've been saved and still, still can't stand it. Can't stand the heat, can't stand the fire, can't stand the earthquake. The least little thing rock me off my boat and I'm done and I'm tired and I'm not playing. I'm not playing anymore. Like this has gotten you to the point where I'm tired of facing bad, of facing conflict and facing confusion and facing hell. Well, you know what? Either you do something now, or, or I'm done with it. That's what the God said. He said, I am sick. I suppose him. Supposing that it's not going to work out because it never did. Supposing it's not going to get better because it never has. Supposing that things go uphill from here. Why? Because they haven't before. That people who did crimes getting a breakthrough. You sitting here sick. The reason many times bad things happen to you and you're a good person, it's not like there's some vendetta God has against you. That it is today's breakthrough that becomes tomorrow's hold on triumph for somebody's test information of their testimony. That if Paul and Silas had not been there, the earthquake is going to come. But at this point in time, nobody saves the life of the person that is just guarding your feet, guarding your heart. God ain't done nothing wrong, he's doing his job. He's about to take his life and teach us to hear it. God told me to tell somebody on the road tonight. We all in this thing together. I don't know who this good for. I don't know what you've been going through. I don't know your reason of being sick by supposing. Is that your projection is off. Your positivity is all in the dumpster. So at some point in time, somebody needs to come along and not portray perfection. But somebody needs to come along and say, you know what? I've been in this place. I've been hurting too. I need to help and receive it. I've been in the situation and the circumstance you're in. You ain't alone. Say everybody want to project positivity through perfection and prosperity. But can somebody that's been poor resonate with me tonight? Can can somebody that's been in a hurt place, can, can you say tonight, you're not alone? Can somebody that done been through some kind of hell in, in your life be like, you're not alone. I do believe more people would share if more people shared. 